Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Falarska. I think I'm saying that correctly, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But this game looked really, really interesting. It was made in 72 hours for Ludum Dare 37, which had a theme of one room. And as you guys can see, I am currently trapped in a room with a monster, and it looks like some sort of, like, science lab or something. There's, like, experiments going on here or something. I don't know. We're probably, like, a crazy scientist who's trying to raise a monster or something along those lines. But this game was actually made by one of the people who made the PT Unity remake. PE Unity, I think is what it was called, or something like that. And you guys will already see that this monster has a very similar creepy look to him. He's he's really weird looking. And he's he's sort of like transparent. It looks like he's fading out of existence. But I don't really know the objective to the game. There's only this one machine here in the room with us. And it has this box that looks like it's in like Japanese or something like that. I don't know. But I think we can probably feed this to the guy if we put it down the chute. So let's throw it in there. Oh yeah. He he liked that. Oh god, he's way grosser than I thought he was. Oh, gross! Oh my gosh. I mean, I normally try not to judge people very much, but he's not really a people. He's a... he's a thing. Monster thing. Oh my god, look at that face. Just like a big goopy worm man. He doesn't have legs, he just got a wacky tail thing. Alright, man. So, like, is this like... this is like some weird messed up version of, like, Tamagotchi or something? I just gotta keep feeding him. This better not be another one of those, like, can your pet situations, guys. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so we can click this button. I think this will d dispense the food. What? Hello? That, would, that didn't sound like a good noise. Hello? Food machine? Can you please spit out food? Is there anything I can do here? Okay, it's dying on me. It's not spitting out the food. Dude, please don't get hungry and kill me. Also, are the lights, like, dimming? I can't tell if they're dimming or not, or if... Yeah, there were totally light... Oh my god, this game's gonna freak me out. This is gonna turn into a horror game, isn't it? I don't know if it's supposed to be a horror game. It just, it looked really cool. I just saw it on Itch.io, and I was like, man, I'm going to give that a go. But, like, there used to be lights outside these windows. They are gone. There are not lights outside these windows anymore. I hate that. Uh, I got to give him food before he gets hungry and eats me or something. All right, so let's, this time I just hit the button. I'm going to let it run. Ooh, ooh, a light came on. But nothing came out still. It still failed on me. Is there, like, another switch or something? Am I missing? I got to be missing something. I don't know what I'm missing, guys. I, I have literally no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. All right, so after some dicking around, I found out that actually what you do is you hit the button, and then as it warms up, it's going to shine that light on, and you hit the button again. It's not very intuitive. I don't know why that's particularly the feeding mechanism there. Oh, it's still going. And if you keep hitting the button, I guess, while the light's on... What is this noise? Uh... I don't know what that noise is. I'm going to... Okay, machine, you can knock that off. I'm going to feed this guy real quick before he, like, kills me or something. I don't know if that's supposed to be happening. Okay, this is spitting out a lot of food right now. Okay, okay. Ooh, this one's glowy. All right, let's just feed him a lot. Oh, what's he doing? He's spitting out shit. I think I broke the food machine. I don't know if this is supposed to be happening. Can I throw this over his cage? Whoa, the lights got really bright when he, like, spit out his goop. I think I broke it. I think I broke the food machine. I don't think it's supposed to be doing this. Oh, man. All right. Well, at least we can keep feeding him. Uh, here, have some more food, man. You're getting really big, by the way. Oh, my gosh. That's really weird. Uh, yeah, don't mind the insane exploding food machine, dude. Oh, I think I turned it off. Okay, that's good. That was really obnoxious and weird and abrasive. And the lights are dimming again. Okay, so this guy spits out, like, electricity? I guess? And he, like, powers up this whole station? Do we need to just keep the electricity on so he, like, doesn't escape and eat us or some shit? Oh, God. If that's the case, I definitely want to keep feeding him. All right, man. Here here comes another delicious nutrition brick, whatever the hell these are. Like, oh, there we go. Eat, eat up, man. Am I, am I doing this right? I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, God. Oh, he's getting so big. He's spitting out... Oh, he's spitting out more goop. He's spitting out more creepy, weird stuff. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to drop your food, sir. Oh, man, that machine is going bonkers, haywire, nuts. I don't... I, I need you to stop doing that. Thank you. I'm just going to feed him. He's going to escape. He's going to escape and kill us, guys. This is going to be bad. This game is really abrasive and really... like It's just, like, aesthetically jarring. It's a very, very weird game. I also just noticed I can run. 
I can run. That's never a good sign. I can't jump. I cannot jump at all, but I can run, <laughs> which anytime you can run in a game with a horrible looking monster in this, I don't know, man. Like, should we give you a name? Should we give you a name? Or we're going to call you Goops McGee Jr. Your name is Goops McGee Jr. That's your name. And I hope now that I've named you, you're not going to eat me. You're going to be friendly. Oh, he gets all transparent and the lights go out. Shit. We got to give him more food from the abrasive yelling loud machine. It spits out the food bricks. Did it work? I think it worked. Okay, here you go, buddy. Have that delicious thing, the Japanese bag of shit that I'm giving you. I don't know. Sorry, Goops McGee. I'm not trying to feed you shit or anything, man. That's not the whole point of this. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to do this for your own good. Can I shut this off, please? Please, that's so abrasive. Oh, he's spitting out more shit. Here you go, man. Have some more goopy, goopy bricks. Yummy. Oh, my God. What is he doing now? What are you doing now? No, no. This is, see, this is what I was talking about. He's, oh, fuck. He's climbing to, we're dead. We're so fucking dead. We're so fucking dead. Dude, stay away. Oh, my God. Where is he going? Oh, he's going to jump. It's going to be a jump scare. How, how do we hide? Can we hide? Oh, I'm just going to run back and forth until he, he leaves. Oh, and it's getting dark, too. It's going to black out, and then he's going to jump on us, isn't he? Oh, God, I'm going to die. Oh, 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 okay. A little bit different than I thought, but uh, it just faded to black, and that was the end of it. So I guess what we did was we just fed him to maturation. You know, he became completely an adult monster goop pile, whatever the hell worm man thing that he was. And he escaped into the wilderness, the free world where he can, you know, terrorize the people by spitting electricity at them and then probably eating them. I have no idea what just happened. That was a really weird game. And oh yeah, there we go. So right on the screen, it says created by Farhan. I think I'm saying this name right. Farhan Qureshi. Um, he's the guy who did the PT remake in the Unity engine, and this game was made in Unity as well, and it was actually really good looking for a Unity game. It, uh, God, it just creeped me out a lot. It was very disturbing and got under my skin, and I don't really see the purpose of it besides the fact that it was very much a Tamagotchi-style game, but it was a really cool concept for the one-room uh, jam entry for Ludum Dare, and the fact that it was made in 72 hours does really impress me. Now, the food machine obviously needs maybe some like on-screen prompts for how to make that work, but overall, this was like a really short yet jarring experience that I enjoyed quite a bit. I hope that you guys liked it as well. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video in favor of it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye. Sir Piggly!